Hello everyone. In this Robot Operating System version 2 tutorial or ROS2 tutorial, we explain the basics of ROS2 by using a Turtle Sim simulation that you can see over here. Turtle Sim is a simple model and a simulation environment of a 2D mobile robot. This example is used to illustrate the main ideas and concepts of ROS2 and consequently, if you are completely new to ROS, you should start with this example. More precisely, in this tutorial we explain number 1. How to start nodes in ROS2 Number 2. How to start a turtle sim node in ROS2 Number 3. How to start a teleop node in ROS2 that will enable us to control the turtle sim robot in ROS2 Here I have to mention that teleop is short for teleoperation Then, number 4. How to obtain information about nodes, topics services and parameters that are currently running in the ROS2 system. Okay, let's start. First, we explain how to source the environment and how to install Turtle Sim. For that purpose, open a new terminal and in this new terminal you first need to source the environment. We source the environment by executing this setup file. After you source the environment, it's always a good practice to verify that you have properly installed and that everything is properly set up. To do this, we need to execute this command. And if you see this, ROS version 2 and ROS distribution iron, this means that everything is working properly. Next step is to install Turtle Sim. However, before doing this, you need to execute this command and enter your root password. And after that, we can install Turtle Sim by running this command. Okay, as you can see over here, in my case, the requirements are already satisfied. This is because I have already installed Turtle Sim. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress. Next, we need to double check that Turtle Sim is properly installed. For that purpose, we need to run this command. And if everything is installed properly, you should see these four lines. This is very important. This means that Turtle Sim is installed correctly. The next step is to run the Turtle Sim simulation. But before we actually start the Turtle Sim simulation, or better to say the Turtle Sim node, we need to explain the concept of nodes in ROS2. In ROS2, nodes are programs or modules that are responsible and that govern behavior of a certain subsystem. For example, in a mobile robot, we have a number of nodes. Every node is responsible for a particular subsystem. For example, we have a node that is responsible for controlling wheels and different sensor nodes such as a node responsible for a lighter operation and a node for position or localization. Nodes communicate between each other by using topics, actions, services, and parameters. Now, by saying that we want to run a Turtle Sim simulation in ROS, we are saying actually that we want to run a Turtle Sim node. And we do that by typing ROS2 run and then we specify the name of the package and the name of the node. So let's do that. In the same terminal, type this. And you can see it over here. Here it is. Here is our small turtle that represents our mobile robot. Now, let's try to move the turtle on the screen. Usually, we can do this by pressing left, right, up and down arrows. So let's do that. I'm pressing it now and nothing is happening. This means that we are not able to move the turtle on the screen. This is because we did not start a teleoperation node that will read the keys pressed by the user and send these keys as control actions for moving the turtle. So let's learn how to run a teleoperation node. This is very important to understand. 
Every time you want to run a new node, you actually need to open a new terminal. And in this new terminal, you need to start that node. So let's do that. I will click over here to open a new terminal. But keep in mind that this terminal should still be opened. So don't close the terminal in which you run your turtle sim. Open a new terminal. And in this terminal, you actually need to source the environment. That is, you need, again, to run this setup.bash file. So you can use ROS2. OK, this is perfect. Now, let's learn how to run a teleop node. We need to execute this command. ROS2 run from the package turtle sim. We are actually running this node, turtle teleop key. So let's run it. Perfect. OK, so let's learn how to move our turtle. To move the turtle, first bring back the window over here, move it over here. And in this window, you actually need to click over here. And then you can press left, right arrow to rotate the turtle left or right. And you can press up arrow to move in this direction or down arrow to move in the opposite direction. So for example, if I want to go strictly left, I will rotate a little bit. Let's do it again, again, again. Okay, and like this, and here it is. If I want to move right, down, up, left, right, down. Okay, and then you can play with this turtle simulator and you can move your turtle on the screen. So what's happening behind the scenes? We have two nodes. We have our original turtle sim node represented by this screen and by this animation and we have our teleop node that we run from this window. Teleop key, or better to say turtle teleop key node will read the keys pressed by the user and it will send the keys to the other node, that is to our turtle sim node. And the turtle sim node will actually move the turtle on the... Next, let's learn how to obtain more information about nodes, services, topics and parameters in ROS2. Let's first learn how to see the list of nodes that are currently running. For that purpose, let's open a new terminal and let's source our environment. Click over here and again, before you do anything in ROS, it's very important to source this file, setup.bash. Okay. To see the list of nodes that are currently running, we'll actually type this, ROS2 node list. And as expected, we have two nodes. The first is, is the teleop turtle node, and the second node is the turtle sim node. Next, let's learn how to obtain more information about the particular node. For example, to obtain more information about turtle sim, we will type this, ROS2 node info, and make sure that you correctly spell the name of the node with this symbol at the beginning. And here it is. Wow, a lot of information. Now, I don't have time to explain everything. However, just I'm going to give you a brief summary. Here you can see the subscribers to this particular node. Here you can see the publishers to this particular node, you can see the services, and you can see the clients, servers, and clients. More about these topics in my future video tutorials. For the time being, it's very important to just to learn how to get basic information. Let's obtain more information about topics that are currently running. To do that, type this, and you can see the topics. We have in total five topics. Let's obtain more information about the particular topic, for example, about this topic. To do that, we need to type this. And we can see a very useful information. We can see that the type of messages being sent are twist messages. This is as expected. And we can see that we have one publisher and we have one subscription. 
very important information. To obtain more information about services, we need to type this. And we can see all the services. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. And see you in the next video tutorial.